And you know what you tell them? Say it's three types of people. It's people from around the way. It's people that's in the way. And what else? It's people that make a way. Big motion. I lost a bag and got a bigger bag. I lost a friend and got a real friend. Thought I lost a plug. He was really just a middle man. Things just be tests. Like the universe tests you with things. What's up, everybody? We got some creepy, interesting TikToks for everyone today. Hopefully, all is well. Let's dig right into it. Who's filming him? A guy. How'd the fucking guy get up there if this is the first guy that's supposed to be on the fucking moon? A different rocket ship? I don't know. So they sent the rocket ship up there. He got off and he's like, all right, come on up now. I'm ready to fucking film. Are his, you fucking what's serious? The rocket ship? He's supposed to be the first guy on the moon. It's bullshit. The car. How the fuck did the car fit in that rocket ship? Look, how did that car fit in the rocket ship? I don't know. Okay, right. More bullshit. Then the guy's floating around with a big fucking cord to his stomach, and they're telling you that's his fucking, oh, life support. What's it give? Was it fucking feeding him through the fucking tube like a baby? They fucking, they're bouncing around like a fucking jerk off. Yeah, watch. Let me show you. There it goes. Bye-bye. You know what? I'm going to stay behind. You guys go back to Earth. I'll fucking die up here. And how the fuck did he get the film back to Earth? Yeah, look, the fake fucking parachute. Hey, we're home now. What happened to the guy back on the moon? They just left him? I, I, I guess they, so. Yeah, everyone guesses they don't have any fucking facts. Bullshit. Tell y'all two stories. That's funny as hell, y'all. Like, bro, correct. <laughs> like, the moon landed is pretty weird to me. Like, they might, I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy. What if it was like a bloodbath up there? Real astronauts went up there. It got busy. So they was just like, we going to supplement Replace all the uh, astronauts, the whole situation, re redo it. Because if they tell the public somebody just got their people, people be like, we got to go to war. And they like, no, nah, we can't go to war with them. So boom, watch this video to the end. Elon Musk is beefing with Venezuela. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go. Elon Musk. Crazy. Está desesperado. Te fuiste de boca, Elon Musk. Wow. Contrólate. Que te van a llevar al fracaso. Igual que esta derecha llevó al fracaso a todos los políticos estadounidenses. El Musk, Talk quien se mete conmigo, se seca. Quien se mete con Venezuela, se seca. Crazy. El Musk. I'm playing with me, son. I told you. I'm not the only one out here beefing with Elon Musk. It's not a game out here, B. Come on. ¿Quieres pelear? This is crazy. Vamos a darle, It Musk. just happened. Estoy listo. Soy hijo de Bolívar y de Chávez. No te tengo miedo, El Musk. Insane. Vamos a darle, pues. Donde quiera. Como decimos en Caracas, en los barrios. Si tú Told quieres, you. yo quiero, en los más. ¿Y dónde? Stop playing with me, son. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is crazy. Look at the world that we're living in. We got, we got people from Venezuela beefing with Elon Musk. I thought I was the only one. Now, I'm pretty sure after this post, he might send a Tesla to my crib, but it's all good. Stop playing with me, son. It's not a game out here. Elon Musk, you know what it is, B. So... <laughs> Venezuela ain't playing and I ain't playing either. If I ever see Elon Musk in the streets and I'm asking about the situation and he tells me to get out of here, say that one more time. Bah! Brother ain't getting close to Elon to even do that one. But I get what he's saying. I mean, it's real interesting just how Elon moved. You know, I remember when he had on his armor and it had the Baphomet. And I'm a bold motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie. I believe in God, but I'm into mixed martial arts. I watch a lot of anime and shit. So I got one moniker I consider myself is the heavenly demon, right? But it's nothing like that. It's just, I look at it it's like yin and yang. Sometimes you got to do good. Sometimes you got to do bad. A lot of people don't like doing bad. And what I mean by doing bad, sometimes you got to do things like when they had executioners. That wasn't a job for everybody. Know what I mean? So it just that's how I look at myself. That's just me. No, take it how you want to take it. No disrespect, but Elon on something different. He on something different. I still worship the Almighty. You know, all I know is it, that's a whole nother situation. But Elon is different. And now we learn from the Bible what comes through these portals. Hello, out there. In order for us to find out what is coming through these portals and where they are going to, we had to first map out the portals according to the correct topography of the world map. In order to do that, we have to go to the Book of Enoch, 
and I'll be explaining this step by step. So you will have to follow me in order to understand what is going on. And this is right here in the book of Enoch. And at the ends of the earth, I saw 12 portals open to all the quarters of the heaven from which the winds go forth and blow over the earth. Three of them are open on the face, which is the east. And as we have here, we have, this is the face. And that's the back of the head. So this is the face. And three. And I question y'all. Do y'all really believe the map is is accurate? Do y'all believe the map they show us is accurate to a T? Like I heard that Africa is a lot bigger than what they show us on the map. Like if you see Africa, no disrespect to all them countries, like even America, it dwarfs Africa. So I don't know, man. Like it's a lot of stuff. I remember seeing a video. It said literally, like it was something. It was I think it was on Apple, um, Apple TV. The guys, it was some TV show I saw came across. It was like a dude was like, yeah. He showed them the map. They was like, this really how the world. He was like, yeah, but we can't show people. I'm just like, can't show people. In the west, as you can see, the west is right here. East, west, all right, and three on the right which is the south of the heaven. So the right, we have south on the right hand side. All right. And three on the left, which is the north. Three on the left which is the north. All right. So we will have to turn the map this way, which puts Africa north. All right. And we have Russia in the eastern part. And we have, of course, the United States in the west. All right, now let's see what happens with these portals. Now it says, and the first wind from these portals called the east wind comes forth through the first portal, which is in the east, inclining towards the south. From it comes forth desolation, drought, heat, and destruction. And let me explain that. It said, the east wind comes forth through the first portal, which is in the east, inclining towards the south. Let's find that. This is the east, and it's inclining towards the south. So this is the first portal, because that's south. So this portal right here is bringing forth desolation, drought, heat, and destruction. So let's see what country is near that. And this is Russia. So let's find out what kind of information do we have on heat and destruction and drought in Russia. Now, when you look at it online, you find out that we have droughts of 1975 and 1981 occurred in all crop production regions of the country. Look at that, all crop production regions of the country. So this is definitely destruction. They were unprecedented since 1891, the shortage in the total grain harvest, and that's the rest of the article. But it's, notice what it says here. Droughts and famines in Russia and the Soviet Union. Mass famines were reported in years of drought in the 1920s and 1930s. And the last one occurred in 1984. Now this is Russia. This same portal, which it says come forth drought and heat and destruction, is right here next to Russia. I find that very interesting. Follow me, and on the next one, we'll discuss what goes through the next portal. God bless you. Have a great day. I'm sure you all heard about the Terry Reese map. In the early 1500s, it shows the land bridge from South America connecting over to Antarctica, and it shows Antarctica without ice. There's another map from that time period, and it shows Antarctica iceless, and it shows it to be a ring around all the continents that we know of. And if you look carefully, you will see openings to the other side. Bro, by the way, y'all, I had the craziest dream last night. Like. It was so crazy. It was like weird. Like I was with somebody, right? They pissed on a porch. This rich couple come. I don't know what we was doing. We walked like to this like spot where it was like it was very weird. It was like all concrete and it went straight into the water. It's like, you know how like they built the wooden bridges to but it was concrete. And these motherfuckers was coming for us, bro. It was just so crazy. It was just because they was like, who pissed? And they, it was just crazy. It was just the weirdest dream, bro. I was on a run. It was just so crazy. I ain't even. It was just still me thinking about that. It was wild. I don't get why I had that dream. I had some wild dreams. Like I had a dream before. I like I, I told some of y'all. I don't know. 
y'all seen that video, but I believe I saw the Leviathan in the water or some big serpent and it was just looking at me. I'm like, I keep going down and just looking at me and I don't know what's about that. It didn't show like no intent to harm me, but it's just looking. Right. This pic shows you one of the passage or openings uh, from Antarctica to the other side. Um, there's a few of these I'm going to show you, so just hang in there. Here's another picture of the opening to the other side of the Antarctic wall. In other words, what I'm trying to say here, there's more land on the other side and they've been hiding all this from me. And of course, I saved the best one for last. This one here was the one Admiral Byrd was speaking of. If you look carefully, you can even see land on the other side. Watch this video. Admiral Byrd, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole because it's getting crowded up there now because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from Middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. That's a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. Well, you probably heard the conspiracy theory that your favorite celebrity is actually a lizard. So here's the full reason. The I'm sorry, that's crazy. Do y'all really believe that there's more to this world than what they show us? I want to believe that because I just think, like, bro, they liars to me. Because what would they tell me the truth? No, oh, everybody got their own agenda. Crazy lizard people conspiracy exists. The world is controlled by shadowy elites and shape shifting lizard people. For years, conspiracy theorists have accused celebrities of shifting from normal people to lizard people right before our eyes. If you look at their eyes in these. Apologies about the pausing, but is it the real that take over these people or is they often people and just taking over the identity? Like, what do y'all think is going on with this reptilian stuff? And my question is if they really get busy like that, why play human? You see what I'm saying? Like, like what would be the point to even indulge in, in, in the human experience unless they just don't have nothing like that and they find it very interesting? What's your thoughts on these reptilians? Real videos, you see, they go from round human pupils to sharp, oval, reptilian-looking pupils. Miley, Rihanna, Taylor, Beyonce, some even go as far as to tell everyone. I'm trying to be on, we got inner reptilian because we've been spliced. And they awaken this this thing inside you. If it's already there, I don't know. Y'all tell me your thoughts. And that they are not actually a lizard. Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with no. On Twelve million people have gone on record saying that they believe in this theory, and David Ick has written many books about it. The story goes that lizard people are an advanced species of humanoids that existed back in dinosaur times, disguise themselves as humans, and then use their intelligence to control and dictate the world. They're able to achieve celebrity and prestige because they're way more advanced and intelligent than humans because they've been here for so much longer. They're not to be trusted because they want to plant seeds to destroy humans and corrupt them. In 2014, Justin Bieber was accused of switching back between human and lizard eyes on camera. Then the same year, he allegedly shifted into full lizard form in front of hundreds of fans. Then hundreds of news sources and people on Twitter were talking about it the next day. I'm going to show you what people said he did as a lizard, but before I do, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests do you want to see next. People say that his head shrunk, his eyes went black, and real life scales formed down his body with a black stripe down the middle. He grew over a foot taller, people were screaming, crying, running for the exit, and anyone who recorded a video was forced to delete it and sign an NDA. But everyone who saw him described his physical appearance the exact same way. Hey, I've got some bad news about our food supply. Why aren't they really good people just here to help us? And they like humans aren't ready. Oh, you know, like Doctor Who. I remember it was a whole species on Doctor Who that was under, you know, in the center of the earth. But he had that's a whole journey he had to go through. But I just wonder, you know, he dropping subtle things, or it's just this concept bleeding into everything. What's your thought? I end the general health of the planet because global food production is being limited by a lack of pollinators, i.e pollinating insects and increasing the amount of pollinating insects could actually help improve our diminished crop yields. In case you didn't know, there has been a global insect population decline over the last 
honestly 50 to 100 years thanks to a whole bunch of things that we're up to from pesticides to agriculture deforestation nitrification driving cars drought just all sorts of stuff that humanity is doing is resulting in less insects more or less across the board What's interesting about this, though, is that the foods that rely most on pollinators tend to be nutri nutritionally dense foods such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and legumes, and also culturally relevant dishes. The, they don't really affect things very much so, like if I can find it in here, rice and wheat, which don't require pollinators to reproduce. However, uh, we do need pollinators to make nuts and berries and stuff like that. This article indicates that the ones that are most affected by it are blueberry, coffee, and apple crops, which is uh, a shame because those are three very, very popular things. And this was done via a statistical analysis on uh, 1,500 different fields in all around the world and they logged more than 2,000 bee visitations and compared that with information that's available in an open source database of three decades of field observations of bees and other pollinating uh, insects and plants, which is very, very impressive. I personally didn't know there was an open source bee visitation database but it makes sense to exist given the scale of the problem. I thought this was very interesting. It's very concerning. I do like to try to cover insect population decline on this, I guess, science TikTok, but uh, it's hard to get people to care because bugs are creepy, nasty little crawlies and they bite and they sting and they're annoying, but we need them. We need them for our food. Y'all, I am freaking out right now. The reptilians eating them. <laughs> There's a lot of unexplained things going on in the ocean right now. Hold on real quick. I do not trust them. Just watch this real quick for me. You get to Mars by going through the ocean. You can't get to the bottom of the ocean because outer space is the ocean. Now what she just said just blew my mind. Now there is a situation called the firmament. So we know that water is all around us. And it is said that this dome divided the sea into upper and That was crazy. Why if it's like a, a, a little dome around every planet that's layered? Because there's things out there in the universe, too. Like, why if it's, like, really, like, creatures in it, like, space creatures? Like, you know, why if, it, why if space is more water-like than they let us know? In lower sections. You can't cancel this out because they still haven't discovered 80% of the sea. Early civilizations believed that the ocean and the stars above were linked. I mean, just look. Mayan, Norse, Hindu, Hebrew, all of them. Now we already know what space suits look like, but they look exactly like sea suits. I know once in your life you've heard of the Bermuda Triangle. Planes and people going missing in the ocean. There are black holes in the ocean. And I just know once in your life you've heard about sea monsters. When you see a comet, it looks like a boat soaring through water. What if these unexplained species in the ocean are actually aliens? If y'all have ever watched this movie underwater, they went too deep and found the creature that don't even look like it's supposed to be from this earth. Or could it have just been a creature from space? Now you can say what you want, but I bet you we are not the only beings, only species, only creatures that are in this universe. It's just ironic that when they return to Earth, they're on water. I mean, I know I'm not tripping. And I know y'all heard of mermaids. So many unexplained things in the ocean. They're making more discoveries in space. Not really putting too much money or caring about what's going on on the planet. Why? Because this sea stuff might have a lot of connections to space. And they not telling us. Y'all be safe, and I know I'm not the only person who feel this way. I'm Did y'all not see what happened at the Emmys? Or if this, oh, no. I don't think they're talking. How to get the volume right? Maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like as she got older, boy, she seemed to slim up, look good. Like, maybe I'm tripping. Like, I was never, like, found Oprah attractive. As I got older, I'm like, damn, Oprah. Like, <laughs> um, that's great. Continues to munch and crunch away. And a strange, unusual bag comes into play. And everyone is munching and eating. I don't know. I think it's like some piece of gate or something. I don't know. The whole he got something to do with you no know, weird, weird, dark stuff. 
the so-called pizza that's coming in an unstrained usual bag, which ain't pizza. I tried to max this dude out. This was like, it was, with this Hollywood. it was literally two videos that, bro, I maxed the volume out. Man, I did try to figure out, it just wasn't going. I don't know what was going on. The celebrity gossip, you know what pizza is, and you know exactly what I'm referring to. The things that go missing every year, hundreds, 200 to 300 thousands of them every year and no one can seem to figure out where they are going missing to and where they are but that's what keeps helps keeps the celebrities young just like the wayne say uh -uh. do you like pineapple pizza i don't eat it's under 10. that's how they keep themselves young and fresh you better wake up <laughs> True story, Beast of Boom. Watch this video to the end. I knew something was up. I knew it. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go. People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They are in Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to April 8th, plug it in, it will show you that the sun and the moon are in Pisces. They are not aligned. They are sitting beside each other, but they are not aligned. How is that possible? Because the sun and the moon have been out of place since back in September 2023. I mean, the SUN has been very odd lately, don't you agree? <laughs> Come on. I've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be. Okay. People are telling me it's the calendar. The calendar's off. Don't worry about it. It's where... It's like, I don't know, like, things is forever expanding. We forever moving. Winter constellations and stuff change. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even no, not even nowhere near a novice in this understanding. What's y'all thoughts on? Where the sun is in the sky, that's different. Crazy. It's not where it should be. This eclipse is showing you that I am telling you the truth. I'm playing with you, son. Didn't C tell you that they made an AS? <laughs> Come on. My bro give me heat from Florida, Bob. You know, I don't mean no disrespect, but he just give me from Florida the hair. He just got them Florida vibe. That's with him. <laughs> because if we see an eclipse on April 8th, how is that possible? If the sun and the moon are in Pisces, it can't be an Aries eclipse, right? If the sun is in Pisces. Crazy. And if the sun and the moon are not aligned, they have to be aligned in order for you to see an eclipse, correct? So I don't have to be a fucking Son, TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Everything is real in the Matrix. <laughs> she told you, and I showed you. You get it now? <laughs> Didn't C tell you that they made an AS? But you still don't understand. You still think that everything is real in the Matrix. <laughs> what if I told you there's no something? Shh. Shut up. Don't you even say it. Share this post, do edit, stitch it. Do what you gotta do with it, guys. <laughs> Remember that SE that just passed in April? <laughs> Stop playing with me, son. It's not a game. And if you know, you know. But I tell you one thing if I ever see an AS following me, like how they used to do it at Mario Brothers, I'm going to take care of it real quick. Good morning. Taylor Swift is. Like, it's funny, bro. He's funny as hell to be like, like, right. And that's my thing, too. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, if I can't talk to you and it ain't no walking away. Shh. Don't fight. You gotta fight. Cause I don't know what else to do. Like I don't I think that's the problem. We've been doing this too much with shit. You know? It, I ain't trying to you know start nothing, but I think we gotta get deep and get too deep. It's not a psyop. Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift is, is not a psyop. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is Must be a lame or a weirdo. I just don't get drinking. 
Now, I ain't going to fake to you. I get the flower. Flower, I understand. That, you know, growing the ground. Not uh, the, the wine, I could somewhat understand. But alcohol, strong liquor, beer, I don't, it just, I can't compute that. If it was like I had some real power, oh, boy, 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 you're only going to be able to drink in your house. There ain't no drinking outside. I guarantee car accidents, boy. And if you do, if it's found out on the spot you do that, we got to take your soul, brother. You got to go. You just if you did something on this on in that, like I remember the football player speeding, took out the girl and the dog. He shouldn't even went to jail. You even wouldn't have made it to jail with me. Hell no. She a double worshiper. I don't know. That. See, see, that's a complicated thing. They could be worshiping something we think is the devil, but it's a whole nother level. I do say hell might just be around, you know, that beings and I, I want to know, but I don't know. No. Need to get in the Vatican. If I have powers. It's two places I'm going first Washington. Gonna be like uh Baki Dad, I'm I gotta suppress old Washington. They got it, they got it, cause we know Sleepy Joe. No disrespect to Trump. I think he a he a better option. I don't like some of the things he says and does, but each his own. Cause I can't have like I just them motherfuckers too old to lead me anyway. Like, I ain't gonna fake to y'all. If I was y'all president, I ain't sending y'all kids out to war without me going myself. Like, if you a general like that, you go in the battlefield yourself. They don't even be touching battlefields. Did Bush and them even touch Afghanistan? Hell no, because they cowards. No disrespect. That's just my opinion. Animals that scientists are trying to bring back from Northern Colombia. Titanoboa. Hell no. Eastern Siberia, Woolly Mammoth. I bring the Titan Boa back. Like, what would be the purpose to play with that? Hell no. Who they think they is? They Sasuke or something? This Naruto? Chiramaru and stuff? Like. From North America, Saber Tooth Titan. Y'all better not. Y'all better leave these motherfuckers alone. They look them that saber tooth is not no joke. That's probably if a saber tooth come back and speak, that'd be the apex predator. Straight up. Am I wrong? It's like a lion and tiger mixed. It's, it ain't no liger. The movement did it ain't it's like a dire wolf. Tiger. No no. Hell no. From the island of Mauritius, the dodo bird. I see the dodo bird. That's my dog. Mm hmm. That's cool. And why if the dodo bird was vicious, little mother? Like, you know, you would look at them, think, why if they start getting busy? That peck, they get busy. Why if that's why they slaughtered them back? They said it was stupid. Why if it was a darker reason? From the ocean, Megalodon. I listened to a story about that. That lead them megalodons alone. From the island of Madagascar, elephant bird. They doing too much. They trying to turn the world into Have Jurassic you heard Park. Have this scary conspiracy theory about Billie Eilish that says she will die an early, shocking death? All because of her eyes. The fact that I'm gonna die one day and no one will remember me makes me feel so good. As you can see, Billie Eilish has a lot of white showing underneath the iris of her eyes. Anyone with these type of eyes called yin senpaku eyes are cursed according to Japanese superstition. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul and predict the soul's fate. And in the theory, anyone with these eyes met a tragic end. They're pretty rare, as you can see, I don't have them. Japanese authors were able to predict John F. Kennedy's assassination death and Marilyn Monroe's suspicious overdose death just because of their eyes. According to the theory, anyone with these type of eyes are in danger from the outside world. People Isn't that just a glare? 
the camera, the reflection. That's like when your eyes light up on some cameras. Like, so you a skinwalker, you a werewolf, you a vamp, you, you just some mythical being too. Like, I don't know. Let me know. Am I wrong on this? I just think there's some, I don't get it. I don't get that some people. People are out to get them. Other examples, including the great Michael Jackson, who was killed by his doctor. And more recently, Mac Miller, who has sold something counterfeit. People with the opposite eyes, whites showing above the iris. People with opposite eyes with white showing above the iris are said to be a danger to everyone else, like Charles Manson. Before I show you the most very recent example of this, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests do you want to see next. The most recent example that people within this theory have noticed is Juice World. I'm just spilling the tea, I know Billy will be okay. <laughs> Ain't even funny, bro. I threw so much of a such. I gotta be safe. Hell. This is why my friend told me a man keeps a knife on you at all times. You really should keep a weapon on you at all. But a knife is the next best thing. You can't just be walking everywhere with the, the, the water gun. Um. So it's just one of them things to where it's like, yeah, if he had a knife, he probably could have went straight in there. Get away from me. Get away. Back the fuck up. Sign. So, uh, just like uh, Sunrise, yeah. right? And so you got the uh, Gemini's, Aquarius, and Libras. Yeah, we the, air yeah, signs. Yeah, yeah, we are air signs. Then you got your Earth signs, whatever. But the month you born in, you gotta keep in mind we are we are sun energy. We are energy. We are the reason why you can see is because of the, the, the sunlight. We are projected here by the sunlight, right? So it's different when when the planet is in a certain position of the, of the month. The, those stars are sending sunlight or energy or photon energy to the planet and gas we are gas we are the gas right so the gas is being the gas is going through traveling through space from those particular star systems and so when the planet lines up with that star system that gas hit the planet and then those people are born to the planet so you actually a lot of y'all come from those star systems as, as gas and as uh, photon particles yeah, from those different planets. And you actually are from there. You're not from here. A lot of us, you're not really from here. We are we are gas, light beings from other galaxies. A lot of people just farts that drifted to Earth. They came here to go to school. They came here to learn. Two schools that I know of in this solar system. Yes. But each each uh, city or solar system got their own school to send their people. Then you got special schools, like Earth is a special school because... They like they call this planet uh, Project Blue Rock, and this is the only planet that has thousands, of millions of species, different species. Every planet is not like that. Most planets only got three species. They got uh, the, the the master race, the servant race, and a pit race. The pit race, and so here, what ha what happens? Why this planet is the way it is, and why it's so special? I used to think when I was little, why is this planet so special? But now I know why. It's because uh, what they did is there was a war, and that took place in the galaxy. And the, uh, this war caused a lot of races to get destroyed and they planted. So in order to preserve their DNA and the, 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 uh, the essence of them, they, they collected all the DNAs and brought them here and projected them here on Earth. So you got lions, feline races, you got uh, reptilians, you got nomos, right? That's like the fish beings. And then you got humanoid, you got ape type. So all these different species, this right here like a lab, like a, a bank a dna bank for the unit for uh, your your galaxy earth is a dna bank that's why it's heavily protected by high dimensional beings fifth dimensional beings uh like called the Arcadians and uh the uh the Arcturians and uh the uh the platians a certain group of them they protect the planet because this is a data a dna bank for the whole universe yeah i think they said the quiet part out loud there are fruit flavored 
numbers we're talking about, we want, you know, a burst in the beginning and maybe a finish that doesn't linger too much so that you want more of it. You don't want a little linger because you're not going to eat more of it if it lingers. Ah. <laughs> so I just got to be a quick fix. And then have more. And then have more. But that suggests something else. Exactly. Which is called addiction. addiction. Exactly. You're exactly. trying to create an addictive taste. That's a good word. Or right. something that they want to go back for again and again. We don't want the flavor to last because then you won't want more so quickly. They just admitted they intentionally make it addictive. How about that? Possible Jesus. Aaron, I don't know. Yeah. And let he me know. A fake town, and this is Sorry, how it like found out. In 1957, the U.S. government conducted an experiment in the event of a nuclear war to see how test subjects would react to living in a fake town. Nine babies from foster care were brought in for this experiment and care. were given parents. As they grew up, they were not told about this experiment and that this town was basically life. By the 70s, most of them were having kids of their own. None of them had any idea either about this experiment or about the outside world. One of them being my parents, who had me in 95. Now, back in 19. 77, 20 years after the experiment, the government concluded it and kind of just left the sponsoring organization to host it. But the organizers secretly continued the experiment. The original residents tried to expose this but were all diagnosed with being senile by the hospital. And one by one, they all just went missing one day, including my great grandparents. Flash forward to today and we have a thriving town, but something's always felt off about my life compared to what I saw on TV. All those special effects that they portrayed, all these vast worlds and valleys and water that just went on and on, and a sky that just was infinite, and those sci-fi things that can transport you around this vast world. My friends and I were in high school, and would always get in trouble. Ever since we grew up, we always came accustomed to this door, that some officers would use to enter and leave out of. We didn't know what this building led to, it just seemed so out of place. But we definitely wanted to go inside, and one day, that's exactly what happened. An officer opened the door just wide enough that it was still closing for a few seconds. We were able to sneak over and catch the door before it closed. We all got in. This fairly sizable building inside was just this corridor. A very weird design. We continued down and saw a bunch of doors. The closest one to us said Village 5. Curious, we opened the door to find a completely abandoned town. It looks like no one has touched it in decades. Shit, we made the fatal mistake of not holding the door, which had the same building. Just then we could hear the officers inside acknowledging the loud bang that we just made. We all decided to hide, afraid that we'd get in trouble that we entered this restricted town. Tune in next time to find out what happens. I was raised in a fake town and this is how I found out. So to recap, we snuck into a place we weren't supposed to and were hiding from some officers. We saw their flashlights moving around and their radios going off, but then they just faded away. Be on high alert of potential escapees. Escapee? Escape from what? Once they left, we ran back out and made it back to our town. We cannot discuss this with anyone. We left and I went home to my parents who had the TV on. It was announced that a dangerous suspect was at large in our town. Someone had trespassed into government property. Hmm, interesting. Were they referring to this building? A few of my friends from that night were absent class. It's very odd. Things just didn't feel right. A town completely identical to ours is in shambles. Every old resident claiming the town we live in is false and disappearing as well. And then obviously this building makes it look like this is all a facade. It can't be real. This isn't real. Were all these movies and contents real? All these people's lives were a lie? I'm not sure what I would find, but I headed to the library and I snuck into a back room. Inside, I found a bunch of archived vaults, which had a timeline of the town's history. It went all the way back to 1957. This is the first file, and it says that this building was recovered from a fire which destroyed the previous documents. Kinda convenient. The back of the paper read something in small text. 214 back. Uh, for a second, I didn't get what it was trying to say. But I wanted to try something. I headed over to aisle 2, row 4, and I reached my hand to the back. I, I felt something. I pulled it out. It was an extremely dusty little journal, which read, The Truth About Village 6. That's what the door says leading back to my town. I opened it to find these huge futuristic looking machines that were making a huge building. I thought to myself, that building must be the size of our whole town. And then I realized, that building is our town. Oh my god. So it's true then, everything's a lie. Just then, I heard the library door slam open. It was the cops. I hid. Find out what happens in the next episode. Antique. That was real. Like, imagine if the Truman Show type situation has been experimenting. It's crazy.
I argue like probably the best place to do that would probably be underground. Make some real stuff and put it underground. They probably simulate a lot of things underground. So it don't spread. You know, I could be wrong. That's what I do. Christ has being revealed. The Prince of Morocco. He is the son of Satan, in my opinion. You know, it's crazy. Why if he ain't the son of Satan? <laughs> and people just labeling this man as something. That's crazy. That's guilty of proving innocent, huh? The controlling, the, the controlling so, power that... I'll let y'all know. The long lost son of a great musician. <laughs> no. That that um, has oh, at this man, time power here. over this planet um, is aware that there are uh, uh, very 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 powerful beings. Uh, I don't know what you would want to call them, demigods, gods, whatever you want to call them. That, that there was an influx of them coming, so they needed to. They didn't know where and when they were going to be here, but they needed to find um, a way of tracking them. Do you understand big trouble? Yes. You no trouble. But before any of that could be done, the fifth element, hell of a movie. They had to first come into the consciousness and frequency of who they were. Me, fifth element, supreme being. Me, protect you. See, one thing you got to understand about the chosen one versus other people. The chosen one cannot be harmed. The chosen one cannot be harmed. The chosen one cannot be harmed, okay? The scripture makes it plain. Do not touch my chosen one. Do not touch my anointed one. Do not lay your hands on my prophet. Now, every demon knows that. That's why when you that's why when you have got in all these situations with these people in the past, that's why you came out unscathed most of the time. If you was a chosen one. Okay, you probably was this close to losing your life, but why you didn't lose it? Why did you get into a car accident and you was just saved by the bell? How did that happen? Morpheus was right, and there's no way I can pull this plug. I mean, if Neo's the one, then there'd have to be some kind of a miracle to stop me, right? I mean, how can he be the one if he's dead? No. I don't believe it. <laughs> believe it or not, you piece of shit, you're still gonna burn.
fact is strange. Do y'all believe that? Let me know down below what y'all think. DARPA projects you probably haven't heard of, <laughs> part two. So we talked about before, DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Today we're going to be talking about the advanced plant technologies that they're working on. Pause to read if you're interested. Mainly the gist of it is right here. The DARPA is working on um, ways to harness plants' mechanisms for sensing and responding to environmental stimuli. Um, so they're going to have monitors on these plants so they'll be able to know if there's radioactivity in the air, um, what the temperature is, if there's an earthquake, all kinds of strange things that plants know what's happening. These are some of the things that they're going to be able to monitor um, via ground, air, and space monitors. So is this a project they should pursue or not? Well, I said y'all and them plants crazy. They're going to be mic'd up too, just like the birds. Um, I really appreciate everybody. Like, comment, thoughts, of course, subscribe. Take care.